for Liverpool fans, the evening of Monday, the 26th of December, was exclusively associated with the Boxing Day holiday match against Aston Villa. But just a few hours after a victory at Villa Park, the Reds found out their club signed Cody Hakpo. In this video, we explain everything. Who is this talented youngster who has already rocked at the World Cup and why Liverpool have acquired a real beast? This is the Football Club channel, so subscribe, hit the like button and let's get started. It all started with Liverpool losing two of their first team attacking players for a very long time, Luis Diaz and Diogo Jota. So at all press conferences, Jurgen Klopp was asked only one thing, where are the transfers? Usually coaches are reluctant to answer such questions, but this time the German had something to say. Last January, Luis Diaz came in, which was very helpful for that part of the season. Doing something similar this time, if it was a positive move, why not? And before the match against Aston Villa, Virgil van Dijk mysteriously said, Hopefully the injured players can come back soon and hopefully we can welcome some new players at our football club. We'll remind you that Virgil is half-post captain in the Netherlands national team and he surely knew about what was happening and even took part in the transfer. Let's also note how Liverpool handled this move. Only an hour passed from the first report in the press to the official announcement of the transfer by PSV. It's reported that Cody turned down Chelsea and Manchester United for a move to Anfield. Actually, it was almost obvious to everyone that Cody would move to Manchester, where having thrown Cristiano Ronaldo aside, Den Haag was looking for his replacement. Against the backdrop of these rumors, a popular Manchester United fan nicknamed Trey wrote on Twitter a few days ago, Can't wait for this monster to light up the Premier League. Well, Trey, this monster will light up the Premier League alright, but there's a catch. Cody Hakpo is one of the stars of the 2022 World Cup. In Qatar, he became the first Dutch player to score at the World Cup and became only the fourth Dutchman to score in three consecutive World Cup games. The list included Johan Neskens, Dennis Bergkamp and Wesley Schneider. Now, there's also Cody Hakpo. Hakpo's father is from Togo and was a good football player in his time. People used to make fun of Cody, telling him that his dad was more talented than him. But those times are over, that's for sure. His mother played rugby for the Netherlands. His brothers also tried their hand at football. The youngest, 17-year-old Duke, went into tryouts at the PSV Academy at the beginning of the year. The sporty Cody also came from his sports family. His parents knew how to live like professionals, but in a healthy way, said Tuan Shapers, who was once Cody's youth coach. They trained him well, in their own way, not too much pressure, without stress. They praised his skill and wanted him to enjoy the game. I can tell he's still a guy who loves the game without the stress. It's what made him the player he is. No stress, just love. Shapers first met Hakpo in 2007 in the U11, and some of the matches the kid was involved in were the equivalent of pro with amateur matches. Yes, he often scored 9 goals or something like that, Shapers says. He could have been 16-3, 16-2, and he scored a lot in those matches. But after the game, he never talked about the number of the goals. If, for example, he scored 9, the only question was, could he have scored 12? And provide assist as much as possible. Yep, that's Cody. Despite his height of 189 centimeters, Hakpo has a dribbling skill. Going one-on-one -on -one by passing the opponent accurate shots on target. Defenders are always worried about how to play against him. It doesn't matter if it's the start of the match or at the time. Even in the 94th minute, he knows how to change direction and shoot. Last season, the Void Ball International magazine recognized Cody as the Eredivisie player of the season. He was the engine, he was the game changer, sometimes he came on with the captain's armband. He became very strong mentally, says Lente Haudek, one of the magazine's journalists. In the first games of the 22-23 season, Hakpo was drawn to the left wing a little, but he himself found an explanation for this in an interview with the Times newspaper. I watched Thierry Henry's matches for inspiration. He was a forward, tall, strong, but he also constantly played on the wings. I like that too. When I watch his highlights, I find something new for myself. For example, his move to the left and a shot with his right foot. Don't know if it works, but I'm trying to copy it a bit. 
Also, in that interview, Cody talked about the transfer that didn't happen. I was close to a transfer. I spoke to Ten Hag at Manchester United a few times. The agreement did not take place and it was a shame for me, for my development and for PSV. Selling your player to such a club to the Premier League is very prestigious. It all ended about a week before the end of the transfer window and I had to decide whether I was going to Leeds or Southampton. In the end, I stayed. We already mentioned that Cody is an extremely tall player to play in a wing. Usually such players look for space behind defenders, try to avoid offside and find their chances in the opposition's penalty area. However, Hakpo is different. He likes to receive the ball during build-ups and create moments on his own. This doesn't mean that he abandons runs and diagonal sprints in the hope of receiving a true pass. It's his versatility in attack that makes him so dangerous. A characteristic trait of Hakpo's game is a huge number of shots on the opposition's goal. He often tries to score from obscure positions. Add to this the ability to shoot hard and sharply with almost no swing, and you get a powerful weapon. Goalkeepers often simply don't have time to understand what's happening and react to Cody's shots too late. When attacking, Hakpo constantly scans the left half space, so he poses the greatest threat when he receives the ball in an area near the opposition's goal. Due to his size and plasticity, he is able to withstand contact with defenders while maintaining possession of the ball. This often helps to develop an attack in a quality way, whether through independent progression or through passing. This season, Hakpo has 35 efficient actions for PSV and the national team. He's number one in the Eredivisie both in terms of goals and assists. He can play in the position of a 10, inside, side midfielder, winger, center forward. This is exactly what Liverpool need. Initially, he will almost certainly cover the left winger position, playing in attack with Mo Salah and Darwin Nunez. And when Diaz and Jota return after their injuries, they'll be able to compete for the center forward position. Overall, the attacking line of the Reds now looks incredibly powerful. If we only take the club, Cody scored 13 goals and provided 17 assists for PSV. Liverpool will pay £37 million for the forward, which could rise to around £35 million if he is successful for the Reds. For a player of his potential, it's a steal. Leave us your thoughts whether Hakpa would choose the right club to continue his career, and if not, then tell us where you would like to see him in the comments below. And of course, be sure to watch the videos you see on your screen right now.